Hello guys, this is Raptamon132 here, and welcome to my ninth blind commentary video post of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 6. Yeah, um, to all of you who are actually reading the uh, title now, yeah, I'm actually... Like, last time I did Episode 7, and you expect me to react to Episode 8. Well, the thing is... Uh, I, re I just found out after recording that the next episode after that was a half swarming tale, but I've already reacted to that one. Like, I did it for Christmas, like, a few years ago. But, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to be reacting to that one. Instead, I've gone to another episode. I've skipped ahead to episode 9. So, it's episode 7, then I've skipped to episode 9. So yeah, today I'm going to be looking at the ninth episode, and this one is called The Saddle Row Review. Interesting. Uh, I don't know what to expect. The Saddle Row Review. That sounds like it's reviewing something, but I don't know. Like, I don't know what to expect. This is a title that I... I obviously do not know what to expect. So yeah, I'm, I'm stumped. But yeah, I guess the only way to find out is to actually watch the episode. So yeah, as usual, without further ado, let's begin. Here we go! What? There before the paper is even delivered to Rarity's house. What? Maybe she won't read the article. I'm pretty sure article. Rarity's gonna read a review of her new boutique in Manhattan. What? I still can't believe we all oh. grabbed everything that happened to that report. Oh. Oh yes, I remember. It was in that episode with uh, a gift, a gift for Mod Pie. Yeah, that that episode where Rarity and Pinky and Mod were enjoying uh, Manhattan together. So, this is going to be about, uh, Rarity's Boutique. Huh. i never known. I would have... Who, who knew? Anyway, continue. I just hope it doesn't end up being an article about how her friends almost ruined the opening. Really? I think you're all overreacting. Rarity's our friend. If any pony is going to understand, it'll be her. I was wondering when all of you were going to show up. Oh. <gasps> Oh, the review. Um, I have an idea. How about we don't read it? What she means is, before you read it, we should probably tell you about... No, no, darling. Please, no spoilers. Huh? But... No spoilers! No s... Ah! Yep, I recognize this. First, I recognize that meme. The no spoilers. So that's where the clip came from. That's a clip that uh, that I was in that uh, that my friend introduced me to, to use when I'm when I don't want to be spoiled is no spoilers. <laughs> so this is where it came from. Huh. Well, now I know where the where the meme came from now, and yeah, it looks like this is going to be an episode of involving uh, Rarity's new boutique. Oh, she wears glasses. Oh sure yeah, that's right. Review that describes in stunning detail exactly how each of you contributed to the successful opening of Rarity for You. Rarity for You. Ah, <laughs> Fluttershy. Many a pony has tried their hoof at joining the ranks of the elite fashion trendsetters currently ensconced in the boutiques of Manhattan's famed Saddle Row. <laughs> Some might Saddle say Row, it's huh? the ultimate achievement in equestrian fashion, and never before has a reporter been granted such unfettered behind-the-scenes access until now. I wish it had been huh? more fettered. Oh, uh, <laughs> I sat down with <laughs> Rarity and her friends after the opening to get the inside scoop. And what a scoop it was! Really? A scoop? <laughs> Classic okay, diner. successfully opened a shop in Manhattan, and that's no mean feat. <laughs> Most ponies might wonder what Interesting design of this pony. Gonna I'm gonna interview you and your <laughs> friends so I can... He's got an ass for a chin. Together. 
A word picture, mind you, not an actual picture. Any questions? Well, I was wondering how... Let's get started. Ms. Rarity, you got shops uh -huh. all over Equestria, but this was your first time trying to make it in the big city. What made you think you could tackle it on your own? Well, I wouldn't say all over Equestria. Really? I just have two other boutiques, one in my hometown of Ponyville and one in Canterlot. Uh, still, when I decided yeah. to open this one, I was nothing but confident. Let's just say that if I oh. could choose, I what? probably wouldn't do it that way again. Wait a minute. The interviewing. The party ever. Oh, Pinky in it. Was a it. pig push and disaster. After a lifetime of awesome, I think every pony's allowed to mess up every now and then, right? Huh. Wait, are you writing this down? Um, <laughs> exactly how I thought it was. Yeah. But it's... Rainbow should learn that the press can actually write down anything. You know, if it's too bad, it like it's a good thing that. Uh, Rainbow, oh, that they didn't have recording devices, you know, like a tape recorder or an audio recorder. If they had that's what reporters usually have these days, they usually have uh, recorded interviews and then they make a story based on the uh, more or less of the uh, you know, of the uh, interview. But I know for a fact because you know, once I've I've actually been. Yeah, I've experienced it a little myself. But, yeah. Rainbow has to learn. Rainbow learns that the journal, that the press can learn, can, like, can play, like, can put words into them, like, can alter the truth that they wanted. Yeah, they do anything for a story. But, yeah. Anyway, continue. Um, started out all right. Uh-huh. Fourth wall break inside a fourth wall break. That's like 16 walls. Welcome to Saddle Row. An entire street line with the most fashionable boutiques in all of Equestria. Uh-huh. It's supposed to be the most fashionable block of shops. Where's Stinky Bob's so discount hat emporium? This is a flashback I episode. I didn't make the cut. Oh, here it is. Rarity for you! Uh-huh. Just Ugh. look at this place. What a dump. Rarity, a shit pile. Fun. Are you sure you'll be ready to open tonight? <laughs> Gesundheit. Gesundheit. <laughs> Gesundheit. Thank you. No need to fret over a mere moderate amount of preparation. My clothes uh, arrive soon. Dust Fluttershy. After that, I'm with a little dusting. We'll be ready for the grand opening tonight. Rarity, so good to see you. Your store oh. is going to be a very good Who are these place, two? I think. <laughs> Mr. Stripes owns the building. He's a Mr. very Stripes. pleasant landlord. Although he can be pushy at times. Really? Okay, all the time. You've met my daughter? The apple of my ear. The hay in my hoof. You will let her work uh -huh. with you. It's just, I'm dreadfully busy preparing for tonight's grand opening. As you can see, uh... there are only two things I love more than being pushy. One is my daughter, the other is miniature doll furniture. And I would sell my entire mini furniture collection to make my daughter happy. You understand? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I just don't think it's going to be possible. Let me say another way. Hire her or I raise rent until you no can afford. Oh, uh, welcome aboard! That? First idea! Instead of clothes, we sell glow in the dark teeth! Like this. Ah. But they glow in the dark! Golly, what a stupid uh, idea! That is. <laughs> that <laughs> landlord is an asshole. What was she thinking? Really? What? Aww, hello. What? What? Raccoons? Smokey made too much noise eating garbage, so Softpad's mother made them move out of the trash can. 
Then Smokey Jr. found a nest oh. in the crawl space behind the building, but Mr. Stripe demolished it so they were temporarily camped <laughs> out in the back until they found a new place to live. So, wait a minute. How are they... Al How are raccoons allowed to get into the shop, into the diner? Wouldn't that be a health hazard? And then again, in Equestria, there's no such thing as a health hazard. Well, not if you... Uh, like, not if you... Uh, are able to communicate with animals that are semi sentient. But yeah. And I could understand Rarity not uh like panicking because you know raccoons they they might look adorable but I've actually heard and seen videos that they can be nasty. Like they can be really, really nasty. And I'm not talking and I'm not not just talking about Rocket Raccoon, you know, from uh Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, real raccoons can be... Some of them, like... They can act... Like, actually, raccoons can be pretty nasty. But, yeah. Anyway, continue. No, no, no! I can't have a family of rubbish-scented raccoons living in my boutique! Uh, did you hear that? Huh? huh? Turns out there's a club pony party palace upstairs. Club pony... There's a club pony party palace! Really? Club Pony Palace, huh? Yeah. Hey! I recognize I'm sorry. Could you please ask her to turn it down? No, you Could can't you talk to him. To turn it down, please? Turn yeah, it down. I got a guard who's an asshole. Oh, please. And hang on. And also I recognize I just saw vinyl scratch at the aka DJ point three on the uh thing and I also recognize the four the three uh the three ponies in that uh like on the dance floor those yeah you know, I've seen them before. Like I've seen them in uh like especially in some GIF images like of them dancing. I never knew where they came from but that's <laughs> well you learn something new every day. Anyway a spoiler that I didn't even know. Uh, anyway, continue. Today, listen to their so-called music far too loud. I realize that makes me sound like an old mare. But no. this is business! Yeah, well, you're not an old mare. What? I wish we were having as much fun as they are. Well, sweeping can be fun, too. Sweep, 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 sweep. What? Sweep. What? Only Twilight could make a dance remix about sweeping. <laughs> I mean, what is that? Yeah, it wasn't even catchy. Nope. Really? Oh yeah, for not being catchy, you're sure getting into the groove. <laughs> well, it looks as if Twilight created a new dance remix that is sweeping the nation. Has a residency at the party palace upstairs, but security won't let me speak. Also, I love Pinkie Pie using her tail what in the as a duster. Of FTR was that? You know how most stores have a little jingle bell when the door opens? <clears throat> I thought we should have something with a little more pizzazz. So I installed one of Daddy's antique horns. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's stupid. Uh, that's probably not what she had in we'll mind. Have to do something about that. After I think of a way to quiet down that music, and after I finish designing the window display. Ah! Oh. Wait. Is this my merchandise shipment from Ponyville? It's completely disorganized. 
Oh, Coco Pomel. Gesundheit. Thank you. Oh, hey, that's my line, Rarity. She stole my line. Gesundheit. Ugh. Oh, well. But hey, it's good to see you, Coco Pomel. Sorry, continue. Glad to see you. Now as the sole sales associate at Rarity for you, I hate to add your already overflowing plate of responsibilities. But Looks like she's got a cold. I just a tad more to do before tonight than I thought. Actually, I... <laughs> I can't work tonight. Oh, why not? A cold. <laughs> oh, don't... Feel better, my sweet. We'll manage without you. Somehow, and we'll manage glowing yeah. teeth and car horns and disorganized clothes and dance music. Am I forgetting anything? Yep. Animals. What am I going to do? Ma'am, you're having a panic attack. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do in your situation. Opening a store in Manhattan is a pretty big deal. It's natural that Rarity would be a little stressed about how it was going. Since it wasn't going well. Still, I think she handled it all right. The dream is doomed! Doomed, I tell you! Doomed. I know things haven't gone perfectly so far, but we've done this kind of thing before. If we all work together, we I appreciate the offer, but this is Manhattan. To make it in the fashion scene yeah. here, everything has to be perfect. The perfect location, the perfect clothes, the perfect opening! Maybe we should just postpone. Postpone? And Maybe. yeah, how? It's the last night of the fall season. If we don't open tonight, it won't be <sighs> perfect. Yes, I know. You know, done. how are they gonna do? Me. Oh, how how like are they gonna do it? Yeah, making copies of yourself always sounds like a great idea. But before you know it, you're locked in a room with fifty Pinkie Pies watching paint dry. <laughs> Yeah, and you'd know all about. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on, hang on. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Yeah. Maybe Let me see that again. Sounds like a great idea, but before you know it, you're locked in a room with fifty Pinkie Pies watching paint dry. Yeah, I saw it. There's a Pinkie Pie claim they didn't get. Oh shit! I one thing for sure. I just hope that Pinkie clone doesn't do anything. Doesn't it doesn't turn evil and do crimes because because if it's pink because if it's a clone of Pinkie Pie then it's the real Pinkie Pie will get the blame for it. Well, yeah. Anyway, continue. We can. Or it could this. be just a random gag. And we can gag. stay true to your vision. You do that, Fluttershy. You'll handle those strong-smelling raccoons for me. Of course. Yeah, or foul-smelling raccoons. I'll handle her and her uh, good ideas. <laughs> and I can go upstairs to that non-stop party that tons of fun and you can take instead of party cats and... Uh, and Ugh, Pinky. And then make them be quiet. I'm pretty sure I know some pony who wouldn't mind organizing this merchandise shipment for you. You? I'm talking about myself. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, please, let me organize it. This all sounds splendid, but I don't even have a single employee, and I'll need the best of the best. Leave the hiring to me. Oh, this is it, my Really? Friend. If you can handle these problems, I'll focus on the design. Well, the I don't think Rainbow Dash could handle we'll hiring. Manhattan, what rarity for you is all about. Oh, what would I do without you? What would she do without us? <laughs> Let me think. Darlings, I'm absolutely doomed! 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 <laughs> I sounded just like her. Hey, you're not writing this down, are you? Oh. <laughs> Rainbow, haven't you learned your lesson about telling only what the... What the press... Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're having a great time. Yes. Keep that party going till the break of dawn. Really? Indubitably. And as for the roof, get jiggy. Raise it, Jiggy. <laughs> Alicorn <laughs> rarity or or angel rarity. Oh, please, Pinkie Pie. Never in a million years 
would I say such balderdash? <laughs> Obviously, DJ yeah. Poem 3 only plays the sickest of beats. I just wouldn't want her to miss out on the coolest new music straight from the back alley underground. Yeah. Yeah, that god is an I asshole. Thing if I but you, no matter what other bonus thing. Uh-huh. Let's see what the music is. Huh? Hey. Hang on a sec. I just realized the pink pony that wears the uh with the glow sticks, the uh with the double ponytail and the leg warmers. She kind of looks a lot like Pinkie Pie. I just hope that's not another Pinkie clone. But yeah, I just noticed that. Anyway, continue. Aww. Yeah, that's Real sad. For you is only hiring the best of the best, and to me, that means the fastest. Now, uh, before uh, we begin, yeah, I know. Rainbow's uh, the wrong person for the job. Is right. She'd want style. New plan. Who can be the first one to tell me what fabric this is? That's organza. Are you sure? It's a thin, plain weave, sheer fabric, traditionally made from silk, so... Yeah. I don't know the first thing yeah. about clothes. Pretty much all I can do is look at something and tell you if it's clothes or not. This chair? Not clothes. <laughs> See if you can keep up with me here. Yep. What are all clothes made of? Uh, fabric? Bingo! But not in this store. <laughs> uh uh, not anymore. Oh no? Two words for you spoon clothes. All our clothes will be made of spoons! Wrong. <sighs> Worst idea <laughs> ever. You know, I like you, plant straps. If it were up to me, we'd have a spoon clothes store right next to Stinky Bottoms Discount Hat Emporium. But it ain't up to me. So, the answer is no. Personally, I think spoon clothes ain't such a bad idea. Useful, too. Eating soup, stirring gumbo, digging little holes. Uh. There. It would be unusual. Although, what would Rarity want? Maybe she wouldn't like it done by color. Guess I have to start over. I wouldn't know. Smokey, Soft Pad, Smokey Junior, I have some interesting news. I bad news. Oh, I'd like you all to stay here forever, but what would Rarity want? She'd want them out. You have to move out. <laughs> yeah. I told you, raccoons are nasty. Now walk inside and experience the glory that is my boutique. Uh, I don't know which one of you to hire. Just keep guessing fabrics. Daddy, Rarity's friend doesn't like my ideas. Spoon clothes is a good idea. Oh no, not a shopping music mashup. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ugh. Yeah, this is bad. Ah, slow motion. When you write the story, could you maybe skip over the part where we locked Rarity in the window display? Yeah. Nope. Hello? The door appears to be stopped. Yep, we're working on it. Hmm. Well, no. we shouldn't let this time go to waste. Oh. Yep, they made a mess of things. How did this happen? I asked the raccoons to leave. I asked a lot of fabric questions. Just like I thought Rarity would want. But Rarity asked us to help her with everything because she knows all of us so well. She knows how much you care for animals. She'd trust you to solve the problem your way. Maybe we should all do the same. Doing this our way is what Rarity wants. It's not Maybe. too late. Let's all dig in and we can fix this. <laughs> Well, let's Rarity see. Finds out how bad we messed up. Maybe. I'm sorry I asked you to leave. The place is yours if you want to stay. 
Though I would like to ask you all just one favor. And what would that? What would that be? I'm sorry I made you play that unfun, super boring music. But if you're up for it, I have an idea <laughs> to make the party yeah. even better. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Get that. Don't well, the first thing that Dad Final Final Scratch needs to do. Get rid of that fucking asshole bodyguard. Hmm, that might work. But I don't know about Pinky, but I would have bucked him in the face if he was doing that to me. But, yeah, anyway, continue. Fabric, but I do get speed. And I need some pony fast enough to help all the customers Rarity is gonna have. So, first one to the river and back gets the job! It's a race! Go! <laughs> well, I can tell that unicorn Mr. isn't gonna Scratch, win. I owe your daughter an apology. She's got good ideas, and I should give them a chance. So here's what I'm thinking. Well, we'll see. Perfect. Ah, they still locked her in. Well, looks like we fixed that door just in time. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. What's all this? You don't say. Wow, that's impressive. The whole place organized by style, cross-referenced by size, and reverse indexed by fabric. She'll be able to find anything in three seconds flat. It was some of my best work. Heh. Oh, we'll I see. I could count on you. All right. I suppose this is the moment of truth. Yeah, that's a much better. Is now open. Yeah, a long line. Oh, chase that squirrel away. I prepared for such a crowd. How will I handle them all? My name's Blue Bobbin. I'll be your personal shopping assistant this evening. Blue Bobbin. Right this way, every pony. Yeah. One of our talented sales ponies can help you out. Honestly, they were all pretty slow. But they finished the race. Plus, they knew a lot more about fabric than I did. So, I hired them all. Uh-huh. That's if you can... If Rarity can afford it. Ah. A fashion show? Oh, it's the dancers. <laughs> That's catchy music. Rarity designs fashion. DJ Pwn 3 designs beats. What better combination than a boutique dance club? Uh huh. Ah, <laughs> that's the check. After a quick bath, uh -huh. they were more than willing to help. Yeah, true. Oh, a blue corn reduction with shallot confit. But how can I possibly enjoy it without a spoon? What? <laughs> Told you, spoon clothes ain't such a bad idea. Well, in a sense, maybe. Exquisite. This is the most whimsical and wonderfully fashionable boutique I've ever seen. Yeah. I guess it's a success. In the end, Rarity's grand opening was a smashing success. True, it got off to a rocky start, but somehow this ragtag group of ne'er-do-wells... I think he means you. Came together and created the perfect boutique. A vision of rarity combined with the expertise of her friends. <laughs> this reporter, for one, is a believer. Why didn't you tell me there were so many problems? We all figured you had enough on your mind. And we didn't want that to. That explains think why they didn't want to. <laughs> ne'er do wells or not. I know I can always count on. Ah, uh, yes, ne'er do wells. Nothing. Or mayor do wells they, they should say. What? Ugh. <laughs> Alright. Well, what do I have to say? This episode was actually very interesting. 
you know, showing that, like, it's awesome that Rarity now has a new boutique in, uh, in Manhattan. And, and it was great that the main six tried to solve their pro- like, to solve each of the problems that they had. But, yeah, that's interesting. Although, that landlord, that landlord was actually a bit of an asshole. Well, actually, a real asshole. Threatening to raise the rent up just because Rarity doesn't want to hire his daughter. That's blackmail, and that is... That is just... You know, that's blackmail to whole levels. Like, all levels. But, yeah. Well, extortion and blackmail, I should say. But, yeah. And... Yeah, it was interesting. Although, there was a lot of funny scenes in there. And interesting, uh... Yeah, interesting things to see. And... Yeah. Oh, and I should actually mention about uh, GJ.3 being in the episode. Once again, she didn't talk. I was expecting Jesse Nowak to actually be her voice. In fact, if Vinyl Scratch ever speaks, I really hope, for one, that Jesse no that Jesse Nowak, aka Nowacking, voices her, because there's nobody. There's no nobody else who would be good, who would be a decent voice for Vinyl Scratch. I can promise Hasbro that. And yeah, and you know her being the owner of a dance club, and having that arsehole stallion bodyguard or bouncer. Yeah, I get it, and. I also know that that was the same bodyguard that that uh, Sapphire Shores had. Yeah, well, I don't know what Vinyl Scratch was thinking hiring that guy, because you know he looks like the type of the type of guy that would like the type of bouncer that would just throw you out just for no reason, or bash you up when you get. Like bash you up in a when you're out of sight, but yeah. So yeah, and it was interesting seeing Flutter, Fluttershy trying to uh, help raccoons, and then raccoons turned against her. You know, turned savage on her. <coughs> I guess it shows that. Uh, well, it proves my point that raccoons, they can be nasty. Like, I've never actually encountered a, rac encountered a raccoon because... Because we don't have raccoons in Australia. Like, usually they're... They're usually located in... Uh, America, Canada, and I think some places in Europe. Those are the only places that do have uh, raccoons. But yeah... I know that I know for a fact that raccoons can be nasty. But yeah. But it's all and I could ask and it was awesome seeing that uh no spoilers meme on. Yeah, where Rarity goes, No spoilers I now know where that clip ca came from. Cause all of you who don't know, uh there's, there are times when I'm wanting to uh, request no spoilers, and from then on I started using that as a response to possible spoilers. I go, I put in that clip where Rarity goes, NO SPOILERS! You know, to re I now know where that, where it came from now. But yeah, all in all, I thought this episode was interesting, funny, and yeah, it was like a little bit of a flashback episode. So yeah, all in all, it was a it was a fun it was sort of a fun episode. Oh, excuse me, I almost forgot. 
There was also that scene where uh, Twilight did the uh, like did the remix thing of sweeping, and that was a that was that was gold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, all in all, I thought this episode was was okay. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed my blind commentary of episode 9 of season 6, and hopefully I'll get on to episode 10 as soon as I can when I get the chance. But as usual, until then, thank you all for watching. This is Raptamon132 saying, bye bye everyone. Bye bye.